Hello everybody, Flick here and welcome back to Subnautica, the final episode of the series. I'm ready to finish building the Neptune in this part and we're going to do it. I did look up in case I was missing anything big and unfortunately I was. And it involved going back to Volcano Town, specifically the upper part, not the lower part. I missed uh, another facility inside that mountain apparently where you use an orange tablet, so that's what the orange tablet was for. Within which you get a recipe to make more efficient batteries and power cells called ion batteries. And ion power cells couldn't be asked going back for it, so I just unlocked all blueprints. I still found, used my own materials and crafted them, but I cheated to get the blueprint. I unlocked all the blueprints because I could not be asked going back with the Cyclops at this point. I don't even know what a reactor rod is, whatever. But those are the last two things that you need for like the final, that's the massive fuel source it was needing. Everything else is as I had it. I have my inventory filled with rare stuff, so we're going to go over to the Neptune platform and start building. Oh wait, first also, where is... I was told to talk to my cuttlefish, but I don't know where it went after I released it. I guess I could just go release the other one. Maybe it got eaten. I... I don't know. I, I mean, I let it out like somewhere here-ish. Yeah, maybe the sand shark ate it. Well, I, I have another one. I'll wait until I have the rocket built, and then we'll release that. Because apparently there's a special cutscene with it. If you talk to it before you leave. At least that is my understanding. So you didn't see me build the gantry, because I did that a few parts ago just off camera when I was back here collecting materials. It, it's just a gantry. There's, you know, That's all there is to it. So, you know, there's nothing important there. What is important, however, is the actual rocket itself. So I have the stuff in my inventory to make this part because this is the part I knew. Plus, do you want to get nigget, uh, nigget, nickel rather, aerogel, and wiring kits? This thing is going to be this. This thing is actually meant for one person. Is that right? Because it's awfully big for one person. I was just thinking, isn't Nick at Night like some ancient? American performer or late night host or something. Looks like the bottom of a Megazord to me. Also, I'm not sure how much time I have right now. The dog is very much awake, but it's currently eating one of her toys, so I have a little bit of time. Oh, right, okay. So, Paracels times two, got those. Four kyanite, four sulfur, and another plasteel ingot. And this is for the fuel reserve, so this is the important part. Okay. Okay, so I misjudged how much of that I would need, so let's see. I should have that covered, though. So we'll come back down here. Now, they might be in the Seamoth. They might be not in the Seamoth, in the Prawn Suit. I should also dump this copper, because I don't think I'm going to need it. Now, what we are going to need is, unfortunately, some... Well, a lot more titanium, which I'm probably going to run out of. We need lithium to make the plasteel. Uh, oh, there's two... Oh, yeah, 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 that's enough. Okay, so four of each of them. So we still need ten titanite, which I might not actually have, unfortunately. I, I might have literally zero, in fact. I had one. Okay, so we very need to... Very quickly, rather, need to gather... I wouldn't have left any in there. Ten titanite. I don't think I left any in the Cyclops of that, because we used it all. Uh, is the... Are all these empty? Empty. Empty. Oh, I don't think I can, de de can deconstruct those. Why can't I speak all of a sudden? It's the anticipation of the end, I suppose. Or because I just ate lunch in between parts. And now I'm bloated. I went into the wrong bit. Less hurry, more speed. So we'll scan for wreckage. That'd be the fastest way because we only need three bits of wreckage, assuming there's still enough nearby. But the stalkers do that job for me. Instantly found one. Uh, I saw one pop up. Why isn't it popping up on my HUD? Oh, that is pretty far away, actually. So I think I'm pretty much settled on what I'm going to put in my time capsule as well. I'm going to put a deep mushroom just to pass on the goodwill. Um, not sure what else, because I don't want to put in anything too game-breaking, because then I think it would be refused when they check it. Oh, this is exactly enough. No, oh, they're not as close as I thought they were. Ah, can I get rid of? 
silicon get out of there and that's enough because I've got a cupboard full of silicon back in the base so yeah um, I I don't know if it'd be a bit too overpowered giving them one of the um, you know, the purple eye seed things whatever they're called I'm blanking on the name right now because I was thinking one of them one of the mushrooms and then that's about it not much else I don't want to be too too helpful one of yeah one of those things what are they called again gel sacks all right so oh I'm running out of power again I must all the plants must be eaten I've still got solar power but that will also run out hopefully it'll last long enough just to get all this crafting done straight to the plasteel <coughs> Pardon me. That's the cameo from my lunch. So that should be it. The two power cells, the four of them, the four of them, and the plasteel. Yeah. Oh, turn the scanner room off. That's what's draining the power. Especially because it's night. I would like it to be morning when I leave, because I think the view will be better. And although I was talking last time about it, I wasn't trying to rush through the game. I am kind of trying to rush the end now because I'm, I loved Subnautica. I think it's really good and I highly recommend playing it for yourself as I know many of you have. I am also ready to move on from it. I will come back in the future if they add anything. I believe they're planning DLC for like next year. It depends how substantial it is. So it might be an excuse to replay it on stream rather than do a series. I don't know. We'll see. What I'm saying is although I am eager to move on to something else now, that doesn't mean I didn't like the game because I think it's very, very good. Alright, so the next section done. Well, it's taking a while. <clears throat> and even if you watch me play it through, the nice thing about a survival game is you can play it for yourself and have a different experience. You'll have the same story beats, obviously, but your experience getting to them will not be the same as mine. There's also biomes I didn't visit, so there is more to see in the game, and I was kind of okay with missing out on that because that gives you an incentive to see it for yourself. The cockpit. I need the Cyclops shield generator. Another plus, another goddamn plastic wing. Get all right. So a computer chip and the, the Cyclops shield generator. I'm just going to rip out the Cyclops. So another plastic wing. Get computer chip. I'm surprised there's only one computer chip. Honestly, I know, Sora. I know. You just have to be patient for like ten more minutes, and then I'll be done. And so will Subnautica be done. Taking that, thank you. It does mean I'm gonna have to go grab three more bits of metal, unfortunately. So we don't need the aerogel, we can dump that. The enameled glass we have. What was the other thing I needed? No, we did that part. Oh yeah, the computer chip. Okay. We'll go carve craft, not carve. Monster Hunter. Craft the computer chip while I'm once again, remembering that it's a thing I need. Welcome aboard, Captain. Pure chip is copper wiring. Copper wire, gold, and table coral. There's the wire. Do I have any gold left? <coughs> oh, I don't know if I have any gold left. I have exactly one bit. Excellent. Okay, we need two bits of table coral, but well, let me just quickly do this. Excuse me, dog. Stop yelping to get my attention for no reason. It doesn't seem like the water is darker. And I don't mean just because it's night, I just mean in general, it's darker than when I started. this planet. Sora, we're getting off this planet. Yeah, it is inactive. Thought it was. Actually, well, I can put in the acid mushroom. Oh yeah, and I want these two to give away. I could also like give away a... Oh, these are empty batteries. Oh, give away a power cell, actually. That's what I could do. I'm not sure how much space you get to play with. We don't need the acid mushroom, so there, that'll generate a little bit of power. Hopefully enough to cover these. So that's that done, now we just need another bloody plasti ingot, which means getting a couple of bits of metal, unfortunately. 
So let's just... I can't use these because I'm full, uh, full health. Don't need that. I could throw in a first aid kit just for the fun of it, I suppose. I'm not going to give that away. Yeah. I'm going to have to go get some more mushrooms. Actually, no, I could just cut the creep vine a couple of times because I want it to have power while I'm running the scanner and it's not going to get solar power because we're at night and I don't want to change it to morning yet. Because I want it to be morning when we leave. Okay, that will keep it powered up. Or at the very least counter the scanner. So unfortunately I have an odd number of titanite. Because two would give me eight and I only have three bits on me. Remember rightly, the other ones that the scanner found before were in this direction? I'm also feeling harassed to just finish the thing now because the dog is harassing me IRL. I should also say thank you to those of you who stuck with the series and gave it a chance. I haven't played that many survival games on the channel. I played Ark for a little bit. Way back in the day I did a little bit of Minecraft. But it's been a while since I played a game like this. Yeah, I'm going to need you to drop that. I'm going to need you to drop... It's my metal. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I fired it miles away. I may have actually shot it into space. I shot it into actual space. Whoops. I wasn't trying to shoot it into space, I was trying to shoot the the stalker into space. That's one way to get off the planet. Hey stalker, make my day. good measure. Oh, I think it might be coming back down. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe it reached terminal velocity and actually escaped the planet. Come on, where's the next nearest bit? There it is. Okay, now we have enough. Did the dog give me a ball? Or is she just, oh, she's just standing next to me and whining. She's getting very rebellious. In case you're wondering what's going to be replacing Subnautica in the schedule, I'm going to be doing Far Cry 5. Can't guarantee I'm doing the whole thing unless, you know, until I've played a little bit of the game, because who knows, it might be bad. But that was the most voted for next game out of the suggestions I gave on Twitter and my community tab of the YouTube channel. Okay, we break down this metal, and then that should be it. Oh wait, I don't have the lithium, I think. Oh, I better do. Otherwise I'm just spawning it, because we need to go. There's none in there. That's magnetite. Bollocks. Okay, it's going to be like item lithium 2. There we are. I apologize, but this is just to speed things along. Prior to doing that, I had gathered everything myself. Other than the blueprints, which I cheated to get, as I said. And spawning the blue tablets when we were getting into the main facility. A bit more direction about certain facility locations and requirements would be nice. Not necessary, but nice. went and it made me very suspicious. What are you doing through there, Doggo? I'm 
almost done. We're almost. I just need to go say goodbye to my cuttlefish number two. Because number one is dead, presumably. I think, unless there's another section. But I think that was the last section. Neptune 1 rocket. Oh, it's done. Except it's not called Neptune, it's called GTFO. <laughs> yeah, I know. And the base color is. Oh, right away, that's just honestly amazing. Yeah. GTFO. Alright. Cuttlefish, and then we're out of here. And it's actually morning. It's perfect. One quick look for my other cuttlefish. I'm almost certain that thing will have eaten it. Actually, on that subject, should we get some preemptive potential revenge? Hey, buddy. <laughs> That's really good. I should have played around more with this, honestly. And I have the things I want to put in the capsule, right? I'm putting in... A full battery, I guess. Oh, I was going to put in a power cell is what I was going to do. I can't remember if that's just two batteries or if there's something else involved. Maybe copper ore. Yeah, it must be. Silicon rubber. Oh, yeah, I have tons of that sitting around here. Yeah, I'll give them a power cell. Power cells are useful. I own power cell they would never allow because that's way too OP. Alright, let's go grab cuttlefish number two. I think I scanned him off camera, yeah. Where is... No, I don't want crab squid. Here's... I accidentally picked up the eel. Don't really want the eel. Get out of my inventory forever. Now, we're going to pretend this is the same cuttlefish from before so that we already have a bond with it. Because the other one is gone. Say farewell, right click. Oh, Cuttlefish number two. I wish you were Cuttlefish number one. It won't let me. Yes, it will. <laughs> it, it ricocheted off the side of the... Oh, it's back! Oh. You can take some punishment. I don't know where he went that time, though. <laughs> and he was never seen again? Maybe? What the? You seen that? How the... How the hell did you get out here? What? No, it's, it's time to go. The planet is haunted. It's rebelling against me because I punished the cuttlefish for no reason. Get the hell off this place. We're leaving. Take me away to Margaritaville. I'm on, I wasn't on the elevator. I thought I was, but I wasn't. There must be a landmass over there. Look at that weird cloud. Yeah, I don't think I went over there to an island, did I? Oh, wait, no, that's where the gun platform one is. Yeah, the opposite side of Keen's Island. All right, here we go. It's got storage on board. It's a little, is that time capsule stuff or communication array? Sure. Oh, it's a lady. Active. Pressurizing hydraulics. Auxiliary power unit online. Ooh, it's fancy. They should do a follow-up where we have this as a spaceship or something. Hang on, where have I... Oh, is this time capsule? No. Ah, prepare time capsule. Okay, so it's empty. 
We're going to give that, 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 because lead doesn't go wrong. You know what? I borrowed this thermal blade from someone. Well, have the light stick. You might find it useful. Image. I, I should have been taking... A, 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 no image. Can I do a message? Oh, yes. Hello. To the person who finds this capsule. I hope the items are of use to you and you enjoy your time on this planet. Maybe see you on the other side. Oh, I didn't actually... Okay, yeah. I was trying to tap down to do a proper letter signature. See you on the other side. And then Flix Gaming Stuff. I have to take an image, huh? Uh, F11. That's not going to be allowed. But whatever. <laughs> Yeah, sure. My, my image is me being told. Yeah. Yeah, that's never going to get selected. Hang on, I can back out, right? Time capsule ready. What if I take a screenshot of, like, something innocuous? Like that. What about that? So F11 was screenshot, right? There. It's a little mysterious, like you don't know what I'm looking at unless you already have predetermined knowledge. Yeah. It's like, oh look, it's the Aurora, but what's he looking through? Who knows? How do I launch Time Pod? It's it's all ticks, so I assume it's done. Time capsule ready. Yes, thank you, robot lady. So we definitely want life support. Life support systems online. Oh, the anticipation. Boot up primary CPU. Primary computer systems active. I don't think it'll matter, but one last save just in case. All systems are go for lift off. Engage. Ready to launch on your command, Captain. Launch in 10, 9, 8. You don't want to be there. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Time capsule jettison. Nice. Caution. Approaching orbital debris field. Uh oh. Orbital debris field clear. Performing gravity turn maneuver. Confirm destination coordinates. Nearest interstellar phase gate. Engaging ion boosters in three, two, one. What is a wave without the ocean? A beginning without an end. They are different, but they go together. Now you go among the stars, and I fall among the sand. We are different, but we go together. Hmm. Nice. Also, again, excellent work to whoever did the music. Well, as I've been saying, I thoroughly enjoyed Subnautica. I 
had fun with it and I hope those of you who stuck with the series did as well. I'm not sure how long these credits are going to be. So I may fast forward them, although this music is pumping. Also not sure if it's their one, their, as in their composer. No, oh, I can't actually. There's the voice acting. Any names I recognize? No. I'm going to double check how much this is on Steam while the credits are playing. I'm going to do it on my phone though, because otherwise you won't be able to hear the music. So we go to the old Steam store. I don't think I mentioned it in any previous parts, but I do link to the Steam store in each part. So you can get straight to it. Subnautica on Steam. $24.99 in US dollars. So that'd make it, what, like £15? That is a perfectly Welcome fair price. To all terra. Permission to land. Oh, nice. Granted once you have settled your outstanding balance of one trillion credits. <laughs> Yeah, one billion credits is going to take a little while. Oh, in British pounds it's nineteen forty nine to be exact, but twenty four ninety nine in dollars. If you have been at all into this series, I encourage you to try it for yourself. Why is there no picture there? It was Cuddlefish when I started. Either way, that was Subnautica. Please go check out my other series of anything that takes your fancy. Go to the playlist tab and see what I've got to offer you. Thank you again, and... I will see you next time. Ta-da for now.